Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and today we're going to be taking up a problem based on development of surfaces of a hollow cylinder. So let's see what the problem has in store. Here we go. Draw the development of lateral surface of part B of the cylinder whose front view is shown in the figure below. Assume cylinder resting with its base on HP. Okay, fair enough. So this over here basically is the front view of the cylinder whose height is 60 millimeters. And if you watch carefully, there are three cutting planes acting simultaneously. Now this over here is the cutting plane which is actually passing through all the generators. And if you watch carefully, the angle that it makes is 30 degrees with the horizontal. Now there are two cutting planes at the top, okay, one at 45 degrees uh, while the other is at 30 degrees. And if you watch carefully, if we assume this line to be the axis of the cylinder, now this cutting plane over here, okay, is passing through all the generators towards the left of the axis, okay, and this cutting plane is passing through all the generators towards the right of the axis. So let's begin by making the front view and top view initially and then we'll try to create the development. So let's have an XY line. So here it is. And initially we're assuming that the cylinder is entirely resting with its base on HP. Therefore, the true shape of its base is going to be seen from the top. And hence, we're going to begin by making the top view. That in fact is obviously a circle. And let's divide the circle into four parts and then let's convert this into eight parts. Here we go. Let's start the numbering. That's it. Now let's take a look at the cylinder. This is in fact the top view. Now let's try to take a look at this from the front. Here we go. So that's it. These are the so-called projector lines. And if, if you watch carefully, this point over here is the base point one dash. This over here will be two dash comma eight dash and so on. You can write the remaining points also. Now in the front view, you will be seeing the height of the object. The height of the cylinder is uh, how much? It's 60 millimeters. So we're going to travel a height of 60 millimeters. That's it. There you go. Fine. What's next? Well, this is ultimately what needs to be developed, this portion. Okay. And guys, if you watch carefully, the angles over here, this is, I guess, 45, this is 30, and this is also 30. Let me show you. That's it. This is something that needs to be drawn immediately. Okay. So that was all about the angles made by the cutting planes. Now, let me get rid of this. Um, right now, we're going to be placing the cutting points. Okay, starting from this cutting plane over here. So there is going to be a cutting point right at the bottom. Okay, to the extreme left. And that cutting point would in fact be one dash itself. Okay, then if you watch carefully this over here. So there is a cutting point over generator 2 as well as over generator 8. Let's say over generator 2 we have cutting point in the form of A dash. And over generator 8 we have cutting point in the form of B dash. Similarly there is going to be a cutting point over 3 that is C dash. And over 7 we have D dash. Over 4, we have E dash and over 6, we have F dash. And finally, over this generator 5, we're going to have cutting point in the form of G dash. Okay, let's try to work out the cutting points over to this side. All right, fair enough. Um, let's start with P. Let's say that the cutting point over this generator 1, let's say it's P, P dash. It's a front view, obviously. And then over 2, we're going to have, let's say Q dash. Over 8, we're going to have R dash. Over 3, we'll have, let's say, S dash. Over 7, we'll have T dash, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. Now, three things are left. So over 4, let's say we have U. Over 6, we have V. Over 5, we have W. So we've got all the cutting points worked out. What we need to do now is to make or carry out its development. That is going to happen over to this portion. Now, guys, just think about this. If you try to unfold a cylinder and lay it absolutely flat, what would it look like? Definitely, it would look like a rectangle, something of this sort. And the distance or the length of this portion, all right, it's going to be equal to the circumference. How much? Pi d is equal to 126. You can work this out. It's, it's pretty easy. You know that the circle, this circle over here, in fact, it has a diameter of 40 millimeters. So 40 pi will give you 126. Pretty easy. Now, this circle initially was divided into eight equal parts. And therefore, this portion, Okay, so this circle, in fact, has transformed in the form of a line. And therefore, this line also will be divided into eight equal parts. The process is very simple. Draw a line at any random angle of any random length and keep on making arcs, one centimeter arcs. Keep on doing so until you have got eight arcs. Okay, join the eighth point with this over here. 
that the that is the end of the line and then with the help of a mini drafter keep it aligned along this line tighten the screw bring it to the seventh point draw a line bring it to the sixth point draw a line keep on doing so and you will ultimately observe that this entire line has been equally divided into eight equal parts all right so what's next let's number them yeah let's have vertical lines from all these points two three four five six so on okay so the time has arrived to transfer the points from the orthographic prediction into its development how can that be done well it's it's damn easy man so the first cutting point in fact is going to start from this one so this is the first cutting point right at the start that is one and right at the end also again one now in order to locate the remaining points a b c d and everything else over to the development what we need to do is we need to draw parallel line so this is essentially a parallel line method and you will see what happens so we've drawn this line <clears throat> so point a is somewhere along the generator 2 okay so this is going to be point a similarly point b is above generator 8 and above generator 8 let's have point b okay now in order to locate point c and d let me draw a horizontal line fair okay what we need to do is so above generator 3 we have point c point c and above generator 7 we have point d that's it above generator uh, this is e and f so so somewhere along generator 4 we have point e that's it and somewhere along generator 6 we have point f 6 f done let's have a horizontal line from g also so g is on generator 5 on generator 5 this point over here represents g so all the points uh, associated with this cutting plane have been worked out in the development now let's go ahead and let's try to fix the points uh, with respect to this cutting plane and this cutting plane okay starting from here let's let's have a horizontal line so this point p is above generator one or you can also say it is somewhere along generator one okay at this height so this is going to be point p and this is also going to be point p because one is at the start and one is at the end that's why let's have a horizontal line from this q dash r dash so point q is above 2 and point r is above 8 so above 2 this is going to be point q and above 8 this is going to be point r okay so and as far as this point s and t are concerned so if you if we were to draw a horizontal line it would be something like this this is the horizontal line and point s is going to be above 3 and point t is going to be above generator 7 or somewhere along generator 7 okay so 3 and 7 so above 3 we have point s and above 7 we have point t and then u and v okay so u is going to be above 4 and v is going to be above 6 above 4 this is u and above 6 this is v anything else this w okay let's let's have a parallel line okay so w is above 5 so on 5 this point okay precisely it's w so that's it that's the development of this cylinder which has been cut by three cutting planes okay and finally let me close this all right join all the points with the help of a smooth curve and there you have it the development of this hollow cylinder so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query to write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification well i'm going to be back with more such videos on engineering drawing and engineering mechanics and many more subjects also in the future until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep learning and keep drawing